Hi, I'm Micah Weinberg with the New America Foundation. In this time of economic turmoil, California is hurting in many ways, and massive cuts are being proposed to our state budget. Today I'm going to talk about the part of our state budget that we spend on health care. In doing so, I'd like to draw your attention to a condition that I call budget syndrome, or BS. Among the major symptoms of this condition is an obsessive focus on taxes and spending. Among its serious side effects is blindness. Blindness to the true impact of budgetary decisions on our lives, on our pocketbooks, and on our economy. This sort of thinking is particularly problematic in the area of healthcare. But to understand why, we're going to need some context. In 2008, health spending accounted for about $20 billion, or one-fifth of California's general fund budget. These funds primarily support six programs. These programs provide necessary medical care for needy children and their families, as well as for the disabled, the elderly, and the mentally ill. Children make up the majority of beneficiaries of these funds, but the bulk of this money goes to care for the elderly and the disabled. $20 billion seems like a tremendous amount of money, but it represents only about one-tenth of the amount Californians spent on health care in total last year. If we look at the other 90% of the money we spend, we'll see that over the course of the past 10 years, health insurance premiums have grown six times faster in the private sector than within the Medi-Cal program. Why have Medi-Cal costs grown more slowly? Because Medi-Cal pays doctors and hospitals less than the cost of delivering care. So these providers shift their costs onto other patients and their insurers. In other words, if we cut state health spending, we may save money in Sacramento, but we'll end up paying more in health premiums in our personal budgets. And there's another catch. When we pay for health care for the needy through the state budget, the federal government matches every state dollar with two of its own. We lose this money if we cut state health care spending, doubling the pain in our own pocketbooks. Needless to say, this is not a good deal. But if you have budget syndrome, you'll be blind to this and won't be able to see that you're not really getting a tax cut, you're just getting your pocket picked. Cutting state health spending will also hurt the economy at the worst possible time. People without health coverage get sick more frequently and recover more slowly. When they're sick, they can't work. If they can't work, they can't contribute to the economy. My colleagues at the New America Foundation have estimated the drag on California's economy of all the sickness cost caused by our lack of universal coverage. They put it at approximately $24 billion a year. That's more, by the way, than the total amount the state spends on health care. But ultimately, Cutting state health spending impacts more than just our pocketbooks and our economy. It also affects our lives. In the immediate term, cutting state spending will cause more than a million children to lose their health care coverage. Children without coverage also get sick more frequently, recover more slowly, and die more often. We can make cuts, but these cuts have real consequences and hence must be guided by our values as Californians. When thinking about the amount of money that California spends on health care, we can't afford to be blind to the real consequences of these decisions on our pocketbooks, on our economy, and on our lives. And that's no BS. Yeah.